What is going on, guys? Chris with Jerno's Comics and Pop Culture. And today, what do we have here? An updated list for Jerno's 2019. What list? <laughs> All right, guys. Check this out. Two things updated. This is a haul video. I got a little haul to show out too. But uh, I, I uh, was contemplating what, where my head's at right now as a collector and what I want to be doing moving forward this year. So, um, funny thing, I, I did obviously make this list in January and I showed you guys here on uh, YouTube, but, um, as you can see, the three that I got knocked off were amazing Spider-Mans. The three that are left are not. And then I just added two more. What are they? Actually three more amazing Spider-Mans. We have ASM 121, Death of Gwen Stacy, ASM 129, First Appearance Punisher, and 135, the Second Appearance Punisher, which is a valuable book right now. Now, uh, well, before I even show you guys that, before I show you guys that, I'm going to show off a few books that I got, and then we're, we're going to get back to this, because it's, it's going to make some sense here. All right, so uh, let's see here. We got Amazing Spider-Man uh, number 85. Um, this guy is in decent condition. The colors are still really nice. But one thing that I notice, and, uh, for those watching my videos, you would think I've, I've learned by now with staples, but check this out. This is, it's really, this is funny because I mean, this wasn't like a extremely valuable book, obviously, but see the staple right here. The staple is intact. And if you open the book up, it's intact all the way through the center, like a normal staple staple would be. But it's not where it should be. A normal staple should be right about here for the top staple. And when I open it up, there's three staples in the center. You could see the bottom one. You could see the one where it's supposed to be. And then you could see that one. But funny thing is here, you can't see the staple out here. So I was thinking, okay, the top staple, the original staple was still on the book, but the cover, it came off the cover, right? So somebody just added an extra staple a little above it to keep the top of the cover stapled on. But when I opened this up and I looked, I know you can see a little scuff mark here and ding there, but there's no staple holes. There's no staple holes where the staple could be. So this is really perplexing me. It's like, is, is this a manufacturer defect? I've never seen anything like this um, because I, I just, I don't know. There's no staple holes where the staple should be, but that original staple is still on the pages of the book really weird so <laughs> anyways i don't know if you, any of you guys ever seen anything like that before but it's really per perplexing but anyways this book still looks really nice making spider-man 85 um now i got these at a lot for pretty cheap and considering what they are so this is amazing spider-man 161 first um another early Punisher, I believe he, yeah, he's in this one as well. And this is the uh, cameo, first cameo of um, Jigsaw. And these are in like very fine near mint condition. I haven't took them out of the original bags that they were sent in. And here is 162, which is the first official, so they say, appearance of Jigsaw. Um, and again, just very fine near mint, beautiful book. Um, for what these were going for, I was... Yeah, it was a bid. It was for a lot of these two and this, 163. I already had 163, but whatever, because I still won uh, the, the bidding at a very low price. Um, so I'll be putting these guys in Mylar. I think this might be an upgrade from the one I have, but we'll see. And I'll probably be selling off my other copy. And on that note, real quick, side, side uh, little note here. I am actually selling books. Never in before in my life as a collector have I sold books except for one book that I sold for like 70 bucks because I really needed money really bad um, to pay bills. So, but I have a few books here for those who follow me on Instagram. I've been posted on Instagram. I haven't really put them on eBay or done nothing like that yet. But anybody that's interested uh, in a few books, uh, this is a nice Spider-Man fine book. These are some... Uh, Late Silver Age, early Bronze Age caps that are in, you know, I mean, decent, good condition for the most part. Um, but if you follow me on Instagram at journos underscore comics, you can see these up for sale. This is a nice 
a uh, copy of a 113 Starenko art. This one is uh, kind of beat up. I'm only asking a few bucks for it. The value stamp is missing. Nice, uh, fantastic four book. Anyway, so what I'm doing is I'm actually going through the collection and uh, selling some doubles. I mean, why not? These are all doubles that I that I have. And uh, if they're not books that I'm super whatever about and I don't need doubles, why not sell them for a few dollars, make a little money, and then take that money and invest in some books that I need. So that's what I've been doing, guys. So, uh, okay. So now back to... Um, the theme of things here. So, as you can see here, this little haul of a few books is all, guess what? Amazing Spider-Man. And again, for those that follow me on Instagram, I've been posting a lot of Amazing Spider-Man. For one, because I've been going back into my collection and rebagging and boarding. Now, if you look at here, I, I have my whole Amazing Spider-Man run from Volume 1 to Volume 2, then where it goes back to Volume 1 in two long boxes. But I took some of the early stuff out, put them in their own short box, because uh, I've been going through them, through, I've been going through them and I'm putting them in Mylar. I have old newspaper reprints that came in the newspaper some years back. But, um, so, it's interesting because where things are going now is that I'm extremely focused on my amazing Spider-Man. For those that know, Spider-Man's always been my favorite superhero. I have a complete run of Spectacular Spider-Man. I have a complete run of Web of Spider-Man. I have a complete run of all the other volumes after that of Everything Friendly Neighborhood, the other volumes of um, Amazing, starting from Volume 3, technically, because Volume 2 went back to the original numbering up until 700, uh, and then it rebooted again, um, and and then, uh, you know, we got a, a, a Superior Spider-Man. And then it, it went to Volume 3, Volume 4, Volume 5, and I got all of those runs complete. So, with that being said, that is why I added a couple more Amazing Spider-Mans on my list. And here's the thing. This is a long shot, guys. This is a long shot, but I put it up there, obviously. So, we'll see. But... What I'm going to uh, end this video on, this is kind of like the climax of the video for me because this is what's gotten me excited. And then let me move this away here. On my my runs to complete, you know, I had my few Bronze Age runs that I only needed a few books for here and there, which I still want to complete those. That's not going to be too hard, but I put down everything that I need for my Amazing Spider-Man Volume 1 all the way up to 441. As you can see right now, everything that I need is before 135. So I have 136, those two, those two books that I got, the 161 and the 162, completed my run from 136 all the way to 441. Everything that I need here is mostly up until 100. And then I have what? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21 books in the early 100s. Those should be uh, not too hard. Obviously, you have a huge key, a solid key, and a semi-key here um, that are going to be tough. Um, everything around here... You know, it just, it is what it is. I think it's about pacing yourself. But then when you start getting into, you know, the 20s, uh, that's when it's going to start costing money. So now I wrote this out for myself because I want to inspire myself. I want to uh, dedicate myself. But this is going to be a long run, guys, and a long haul. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> but I want... I want to ride this out with you guys watching, you know, uh, I mean, this is more than, than this is going to be more in the 2019, obviously, and I'm going to graduate school here, knock on wood, and hopefully I get into a job making those big bucks, and hey, you might see me uh, rolling in dough, but hey, yeah, 
Right. So, uh, you know, fingers crossed for the best of luck in that department, but this is going to be a long ride guys. And, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to be marking these down. I'm excited about this. And, uh, to me, this is just part of what collecting is all about. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. So on that note, I did actually want to say one last thing too, cause I'm really excited about this. Now for those again, that know me, that follow my channel, I'm not, I'm a collector of runs. I am a collector that reads, not as much as I have been wanting to lately because school, um, just really just, it's tough, but I am a collector that enjoys having the books in my hands and being able to go through a run and, you know, flip through. I am not a slab artist. <laughs> I am not a slab collector. These are my slabs. I have six. That's it. But with my tax return money this year, I think I'm going to spend a little money to be a CGC member. That is right. You heard it first. So this will be the first time that I ever press anything up. And I just want to get a few pressed up because I do understand mainly having it in such a way where it's such a presentation, you know, I mean, it's an, it's an appeal and it protects it and you get that solid grade for a key book. So I'm not one and I'm not knocking anybody that does this. Hey, if you have the money, I don't, I, I it blows my mind, you know, especially people that, uh, that, um, press up, uh, a slab, um, uh, like mo random modern books. I'm like, all right, I, I guess you got the money for that. I'd take every $20 that they're spending on signing a book that's worth like $3.99 cover price and go buy some more books with. But I'm not knocking it. If that's what you do and you got the budget for that, then that's great. For me, uh, I'm, I'm all about the slabs if it comes to key books or something that's maybe important to me. But mostly, yeah, key books. I mean, that to me is what it's meant for. So I pulled a few out here of what I think I want to get pressed up. Uh, so this is, uh, the shattered, uh, shattered comics variant for Amazing Spider-Man 800, uh, obviously ASM 300 swipe, hoping to get in, uh, you know, 9.8 on that. And on this, the Venom number one, ASM 300 swipe, uh, what if Punisher had killed Spider-Man, um, ASM 129 swipe. Uh, this should get at least an 8.5. Hope, hopefully, it's a 9 point something. And then uh, Warlock, number one. I have two of these. This one right here um, should be a, a, a very fine. You know, hopefully, at least a 7.5. That's what I would hope for. But yeah, so those are just a few. And I'd probably want to do a few more and maybe get my... Um, uh, you know, 39, which, you know, isn't going to be a really high grade, hopefully a decent mid grade, maybe my, um, uh, that as well as my 98, which could definitely be an 8.0. Um, and then maybe, where is it? Oh, my 122, which I don't know. I could give this a little press has a little bit of a spine roll. This could possibly be a Fine minus. I don't know. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens, guys. So lots of fun things happening this year, hopefully, for Journal's Comics. <laughs> All right, guys. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Again, don't forget to go follow me on Instagram at Journal's underscore comics. And uh, if you have not subscribed here yet, please do so. Leave some comments. Give some feedback. And until next time.